Nothing else works. Ugh. You have a pristine white flag that you want to color into three sections, as shown below. You have three paints. No two adjacent sections of the flag can be the same color. Each section can be only one color, and you can't change the number or size of these sections. You aren't allowed to mix paint. How many distinct flag designs are possible? Okay. Uh, the quick answer here is nine, but for 25 picarats. Um, there's a, there, there's a, there's a trick to it. Boo, boo this puzzle. <laughs> You're talking about the last puzzle. I'm right there with you. Okay, so we've got A, B, and C. Well, maybe there, maybe there's more than that. Uh, we've got A, uh, B, A, A, C, A. Oh yeah, there's there's gonna be a lot here. Um, um A, C, B. Is that all the combinations? Just four different combinations. A, B, C, A, B, A. A, C, A. A, C, B. So that would be 12? 12 combinations? Do I... Oh, too late for the timer, but do I... Do I go... For the Hail Mary 12? if I follow this convention, then I can go B, C, A, B, C, B, B, uh, B, A, C, and B, Am I missing here? B A B. You think twelve? I'm thinking twelve as well. Let's go ahead and go with twelve. See if that works. Just leave it to me. Nope. <laughs> Looks like card about the clues you've been given and try again. All right, there's usually a trick to the 25 Picarat ones. Uh, no two adjacent sections of the flag it can be the same color. Each section only be one color and you cannot change the number or size of these sections. So what combination am I missing then? I'm guessing there's one more combination that I don't have. Can I leave a section white? That's probably it. That is probably it. So... 
if I were to go um, so then we can go a white C a white B uh, I'll just say a W a um, that yeah that that's the trick rainbow Mao coming in with with the the legendary hint right there um so that would add so far I have three more per per section so that would be seven so 21 combinations I feel like I'm I'm mathing wrong that's dumb <laughs> welcome welcome to professor Layton where they uh they they give you the trick questions um it, it, it it's clever it's clever I'll, I'll give them that so is that all the combinations I feel like no no it is not all the combinations holy crap there's there's actually a lot because then I can use the the blank space as its own color so I can go W A W W B W W C W um five time five time WCW champion Booker T um and then on top of that <laughs> this is this is a lot <laughs> off of uh geez okay so then you have to account for it being at the beginning or the end am i i might be just overthinking this there's four different colors there's three different spots I think seven. No, it might be 10. It might be 10. 36? I don't have enough space on my paper to, to go through all of that. There, there has to be like an easy way to math it. If, if A, How many combinations can I get with A? And that times four should give me the answer. Um, so I'm at seven right now. All white D, A, B, C, D. I could do that. Uh, I've already been writing it down as W, but... Um, So I have those. I don't think I see any other combinations here. So I might stick with seven. ABA, ABC, ABD, ACA. Nine combos per starting letter. Which ones am I? ABA, so I have that one. ABC, I have that one. A, D, or ABD, I have that one. ABD. A C A 
ACB, ACD, ADA, ADB, and ADC. Those are the ones. You know what? Let's just shot in the dark it. Let's go ahead and go with Kylor's answer. 36. This one's on you. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Hey, my man. Apprentice strikes again. That one's a that one's a tricky one. Sharp thinking. Once you incorporate the white color of the unpainted flag into your design, you actually have four colors you can work with. If you assign a color to the left third of the flag and list all designs possible, you get a total of nine variations. Multiply this number by four, which represents the number of colors at your disposal, to get the answer, 36 variations. 12 was right without the, the white. <laughs> Life is hard. <laughs> All right. Bandaba. All right, you're just not gonna have any puzzles for me, huh? All right, I don't, I don't wanna talk to you. Uh, it said you want to color the flag, not leave it blank, it's stupid. It, it's, it's Professor Layton. They, they like to, to do these types of things with their puzzles. A lot of them are, are trick questions or tr trick puzzles. Uh, finally, it's time to get down to business. It's been forever since I got to do some real work. What do you mean? Didn't you just finish repairing the train? Sorta. Of. But before I can kick back, I gotta do... Oops. Uh, I mean nothing. Things are good. Alright. I think I've talked to everybody. Oh. Here's a new guy. Good day, sir. The name's Conrad. I'm a student from the village of Dropstone. I'm headed to Luxembourg. But for a while, at least, it seems we'll be traveling together. Say, have you heard about the long tunnel on the way to Luxembourg? When the train passes through it, every light on, on board goes dark. Stranger still, once the train nears the tunnel, all access to the deluxe car is cut off. Just imagine the kind of monkey business some passengers get up to under the cover of dark. <laughs> Something very strange must be going on if they're cutting off all access to the deluxe suites. Of course, it all makes perfect sense. Why didn't I see it before? Luke, I think I figured things out. Quick, you two, to the deluxe suites. Right behind you. Anyway, the dog, wonder what it does? Beats me. Got a puzzle for me, man? No puzzle. I suppose I should check if there's somebody in here now. There is not. And that lady just left all her clothes in there. Puzzle? No. The dog is my new puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Play Xeno Gears forever until I figure it out. I would just go hire some uh, some uh, data miners. Be like, uh, can you look for this for me? Uh, good day, sir. I'm headed back to Luxembourg where I teach the sciences. Did she say sciences? Uh, where might you and yours be headed? Our destination is well flexible. You see, we're traveling in search of a relic called the Elysian Box. I've managed to find some anecdotal evidence suggesting the box is tied to a strange town. A phantom town not recorded on any map in any human possession. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Well, mercy me, you've got quite an adventure on your hands, don't you? While I can't say I've heard of the particular town you speak of, I can offer you another tale I've heard. Some say the Molentary Express stops at an eerie town that's terrorized by a vampire. First, rumors of a vampire, and now, phantom towns. Goodness, it's like we're living in a mystery novel. Give me a puzzle! Alright. 
You a sucker. You won't hear about no vampire. Uh, here we go. Or, here we are at the deluxe car. Something's written on the sign on the door. Actually, it appears to be a puzzle of some sort. I have a hunch that if we can solve the puzzle, we gain access to the car. Hey, thanks for the follow, Rainbow Mao. Ooh, 40, 40 pick of rats. Don't be a doozy. In order to pass through this door, Luke and Layton must arrange the symbols according to the following rules. The star must be next to the moon. X must be the second from the top. The circle must be somewhere above the diamond. The moon must be located two pieces below the diamond. Give it a shot. That one doesn't sound too bad, actually. Alrighty. X is second to the top. Circle must be somewhere above the diamond. Star is next to the moon. Go back to that one later. The moon must be located two pieces below the diamond. Okay, okay. Your sleep schedule is totally screwed, <laughs> and that threw your whole, whole day off. <laughs> no worries, man. It's all good. Okay. Located two pieces of the diamond. So, star must be next to the. Circle must be above the diamond. So, moon, star. Circle must be somewhere above the diamond. That's not going to work. That looks good. Alright. Star must be next to the moon. Got it. X must be second from the top. Got it. The circle must be somewhere above the diamond. Got it. The moon must be located two pieces below the diamond. Got it. Blada. Consider this puzzle solved. Forty pick of rats. Huh. That's what I'm talking about. Interactive puzzles. See, I'm I'm pretty decent at those. You're in. Good job cracking the code. How many puzzles did you miss? Um, four, I think. Five, counting this one. Um, I missed three puzzles. Uh. Uh, so I did them in the Granny's Warp Dungeon of Puzzles. And then I did the, the end of chapter puzzle, and then this one basically, not counting the, the Granny ones. Uh, there we are. The door's open now. Holy smoke. Look at this place. It's out of control. Yes, it's far more luxurious than the standard cars. Tickets to stay here must cost a pretty penny. Right. Try giving them hit coins. Right. That's not what I wanted to do. Got this one. Ah, Professor! This room is just breathtaking. And one and a half times as big as our room to boot. Plus, just look at how super cushy this sofa is. Wee! Come now, don't jump on the sofa. Luke, do you remember the discussion we had about how gentlemen act when. Wow, you're right, it's so cushy. Wee! 
<laughs> How's everybody feeling? Sorry to bust in on the party, but I'm just here to snazz up the rooms. And let's see, should they go here? Negative. Sammy, that's no good. Hey, you there. Smart looking dude. I mean you, man. Me, good sir. Uncle Beluga. I mean, the boss man told me to pretty up the place with some flowers. Can you figure out where I should put these things to make the room smell nice? Of course. Shouldn't be too much trouble to find a spot for flowers as lovely as these. Right. Ah, there's nothing like fresh cut roses to boost your spirits. Can you help Sammy freshen up the whole uh, the whole car with their fragrant fragrance? Tap a square with your stylus to place a rose. The fragrance of each rose reaches two spaces uh, in all directions, but can't penetrate walls. If the fragrance of two or more roses overlaps, the resulting smell will be overpowering. So make sure to keep your roses spaced out. Remove an existing rose, tap on it again. Alright. Not much to catch up on in your game then? You can always get those later? You had done the end of chapter? Okay. Fair enough. Okay, cool. It actually gives me, um... Uh oh, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting all that now. Very, very interesting. I like the interactivity here. The <laughs> uh, they could have made that a 50 ah, pick a rat puzzle wonderful. if they uh, didn't actually give you the the range on them and so you actually had to count them out and everything like that I'm really really glad that they didn't but uh, you know they they could have done that and made that puzzle just so much more obnoxious five roses were just enough to freshen up the car There, how's that? Oh, real nice. It's not crazy, but it makes a statement. I'm sure it'll jive with the boss man. Well, anyhow, kick back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your ride on the Molentary Express. Now oh, the whole room smells nice. Yeah, it's quite nice, I'd say. But back to the task at hand. We've given this place a once-over and come up empty-handed. You gentlemen can't very well go barging into other people's rooms. Let's go to our room for now. Oh, professor, do we have to? Feels like we it's gotten so late. Can't we stay here for now? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stay here. We got people to talk to and rooms to barge into. You guys notice the distinct lack of roses in this room? the strangest thing. All of a sudden, I'm so tired. What's the matter, Flora? Gosh, all of a sudden, I'm kind of sleepy, too. All right, you two, this is no time for jokes. Oh, dear. I'm suddenly quite tired myself. The roses. It's a trap! What's going on out there? Am I dreaming? Oh dear. Hey, I like these puzzles. Two trains pass in the darkness of the tunnel. 
Move them around so that each locomotive ends up on the opposing track while still maintaining the same order of its cars. There's one trick though. The number two cars for both trains must remain on their original tracks. Huh. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's uh let's I'm gonna experiment a little bit here. Okay, so that that's what it means. So I can move them to different tracks. I just can't um watch my call it. Just fine, I guess. Um How do we want with this? Two spaces. Can't move these back. Not that that would be helpful at all. So it looks like I'm going to have to do some leapfrog stuff. That's going to be kind of challenging. So, go like that, maybe? No, not really leapfroggy. gonna work no it is not crazy how I got like these two relatively quickly but I can't oh actually I'm starting to see what I need to do now okay so I just need to reset those ones go like so
Okay. Like so. Like so. Hey. Just leave it to me. Hey. Hey. Not bad. That's right. The two trains speed off into the darkness, each carrying the number two car of the other. <laughs> 